A few days ago, as I'm making this video, an American female basketball player Brittany Griner, who played in the WNBA, got sentenced in Russia to 9 years of prison for felony drug possession. This situation is absolutely crazy, and not only did it create an international scandal between Russia and America in an already pretty tense time, but also I feel like it revealed a lot about the way people think, and how a lot of Americans, seemingly the most freedom-loving nation in the world, actually love it when a person that they don't agree with politically goes to jail. It's almost kinda like when Putin Z people in Russia celebrates when an oppositional figure, so somebody who they don't agree with politically, goes to jail. And it almost kind of reveals that, um, I guess we're not that different. Sounds outrageous, you guys want me to elaborate? Well, let's get into it. Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about the entire Britney Griner jailed in Russia situation. If you guys are not aware, Britney Griner is a pretty famous basketball female player from America. She played in the Olympics for the US. She has played in WNBA and she also recently, for a few years, played in Russia as part of a Russian team from Yekaterinburg. Essentially, she used to go to Russia all the time and recently, it didn't go quite well. On February 17th, 2022, Griner was arrested in Russia in the Moscow airport Sheremetyevo on drug charges. Basically, what happened is that she had vape cartridges in her baggage that had hash oil in them, which is something that is obviously illegal in Russia. And long story short, recently, on August 4th, the Russian court found Griner guilty and sentenced her to nine years in prison. Here's the thing, I know what a lot of people are gonna say. Coming to Russia, which is a country that you know has, you know, pretty strict drug laws, with vapes that has some sort of marijuana oil in it, it's not the brightest idea, really. And I'll address this later, but there's a lot of people who are making fun of her right now, who are basically saying, you know, complete dumbass, she deserved it all, how can you be this stupid to do this and everything? Guys, nine years in prison for wheat. And I'm not even criticizing the Russian court right now, by the way, for doing this, because, well, yes, it's the law in Russia. I mean, Russian courts are generally terrible and some of the most corrupt courts in the world, but here they were doing everything according to the law. I'm just saying, for the people who celebrate this and who say, haha, she deserved it, not even from a law standpoint, from a moral standpoint, nine years in prison for weed is fucking insane. I hope we've established that. So hold on, guys. Before we continue with this video, I would like to make an announcement. Basically, I just dropped this thing right here. This Gopnik plushie in collaboration with Makeshift. It is a plush toy that I designed myself, which is just beautiful. I mean, look at him, he has the outfit, he has the fake Adidas on, he has the beer bottle in his hand, he has the black eye, he has the hat, and he's all squishy and plushy. If you want to have this beautiful piece of Slavic merchandise in your apartment to protect it from, I don't know, angry people, then go over to the link down in the description and buy the Gopnik plushie from the Makeshift website. Not only do you get a sick toy, but you also support your boy. Limited time offer, by the way, so go get them. Let us get back in the video. Anyway, ever since, there's been reports that Russia and America are actually being in contact right now when they're trying to basically exchange Griner for some other people. One person that propped up in discussion is a uh, Russian citizen by the name of Viktor Boot, who's a convicted arms dealer, and he's in prison in America right now, and for some reason, the Russian government has been trying to get him back to Russia for years. There's a lot of speculation online about his connection to the government and stuff. I don't want to really comment on this, because honestly, I don't want to get shot in the back of the head two times or get thrown out of a window, so... But long story short, I just want you guys to know that Russia might be trying to use Griner as a sort of a leverage, not only in response to the uh, sanctions imposed over the Ukraine conflict, but also as a leverage to exchange her for a Russian citizen that's a prisoner in America. But that is not what I want to talk about in this video, because in this video, I want to discuss the reaction of the people to this. The way I initially found out about this is one of my friends sent me a post on Joe Rogan's Instagram page about it, believe it or not, and I just decided to go in the comments and, oh my god, God, I shouldn't have. Keep her there. She didn't want to be in US anyway. Nah, she's the definition of a double standard with her woke self. <laughs> Maybe they let her out early because she hates America? Bet America sounds nice about now for her. LOL. She doesn't stand with our country, so right now they're looking at trading a gun runner, which is the A, yeah, and you get the picture. Let's just read some more before I really dive into it. She should have respected the laws in Russia. Yes, it's just a pen and it is ridiculous. But just because the laws in America are soft, doesn't give you the privilege to do the same in another country. Don't break the laws of other countries. Maybe now she'll appreciate the freedom of the USA that she was so against in the past. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm gonna get to it. This is so, this is setting up for a Perfect fucking punchline, bro. If Trump was president right now, she'd be out already. Of course, classic, classic. There's all, there also would be no conflict between Russia and Ukraine, too. We all know that. Congratulations to the Russian judicial system for a fair and impartial trial. <laughs> I can't believe this shit, man. Literally an authoritarian country, by the way, that puts people in jail for nothing. Not all nations are as soft on crime as the US. <laughs> 
You have fucking death penalty. What the fuck are you talking about right now? Anyway, well, it seems like these people really hate Britney Griner. Um, I wonder why. So the main point that has been made is that Britney Griner uh, hates America and hates freedom in America, and she's also woke. So uh, she has, you know, she deserves being in prison in Russia for nine years, basically. Man, she must have said some really terrible shit. Let's see what she's done. So long story short, she basically did a Colin Kaepernick. You know how Colin Kaepernick, a black man, protested by uh, taking a knee uh, and kneeling when there was a uh, U.S. anthem play which caused so much of a shitstorm, it was insane. Yeah, bro, God forbid black people protest for the rights of their own community and for their own people. That sucks, man. And we all know that story, it caused a shitstorm. You hate America, ASGW, these colors don't run, whatever the fuck. You know what we're talking about. And what Britney Griner did is that she basically suggested that there is no reason to basically play the American anthem before sports events. She also demanded to get rid of the flag ceremony and also basically made a point and actually refused to be present at any sports events when the American anthem was being played. Britney Griner is also African-American and she did it obviously to protest for Black Lives Matter against police brutality, which all in my opinion are pretty good causes. You can get mad, I've already been vocal about this on my channel, I'm a BLM guy fuck you gonna do about it and also she's a black lesbian woman that's outspoken like you just know conservatives will hate her and this is how we get to people being so happy and so joyful when she gets locked up now here's the thing as far as i understand conservatives like to stand for freedom and liberty and free speech freedom of expression you know you probably agree with me if you were conservative right those are your values it's just kind of interesting to me i guess that first of all you're literally like happy you're gleefully laughing and celebrating a person getting incarcerated for some fucking nonsense and also the entire take of her hating freedom or something hating america is kind of ironic to me honestly because the point of america right is maybe i got it wrong guys i thought the point of the united states is that everybody gets to have free speech everybody gets to voice their opinion on important issues and take a stand which is what britney Griner did she came out in support of black lives matter in protest against police brutality etc that is her free speech and if you truly support free speech and freedom why are you celebrating a person being sent to jail for nine years because you don't like her free speech? Because apparently her free speech means that she hates America and hates freedom. Actually, I think you kind of hate freedom, don't you? How can you say you stand for free speech when you literally want people who express their free speech who are on the other side politically from you to be in fucking jail? I don't know, guys. Sounds like a bit of a cognitive dissonance for me. I don't know about you. And this is like how low you stoop that you have to simp for an authoritarian regime. Like, haha, yeah, Russia, there we fucking go give her a taste of her own medicine what the fuck are you talking about you're actually so far gone it's, it's, it's absolutely insane for me oh man this is so good so britney grinds griner grains whatever an anti-american pro basketball player wanted the nba to stop playing the national anthem during games and took a knee during the anthem because you know america's oppressive america is oppressive shut the fuck Fuck up. Bro, I hate these white, like, 45-year-old conservative women so much. It's fucking insane. You know this woman is so privileged. Like, and I'm not even saying on this on some SJW shit. You just know she's so privileged, has never experienced hardship once in her fucking life, man. You just know it. Then she goes off to Russia for a game. Brings marijuana vape cartridges with her in violation of Russian law. Because, you know, rules don't apply to her. And gets sentenced to nine years in prison. Karma. I bet she likes America now. I bet she wants America now. Oh my god. This is this is what we really, You people are fucking insane. Personally, no. I don't think we should negotiate for her release. Why would we? Brit, you broke the law. Just take the L. Like a man. Speaking of, I wonder how woke pronouns are gonna work out for her in a Russian prison. You think they'll buy it? Besides, she doesn't like it here. Putin can have her anti-American arse. We're all stocked up. Good thing she likes to kneel. She'll be doing a lot of that for the prison guards. God bless America. Conservatives try to not celebrate when black people get incarcerated challenge. Uh, fucking parentheses, impossible. <laughs> I, I, I can't with this shit, man. It's insane. So let's actually get to the point that I was getting at. How this actually reveals a lot about how uh, people are very similar, no matter what country they're from. So basically, you know, Russia is, you know, cracking down very heavily on free speech. A lot of oppositional politicians have either died in mysterious ways in the last years or are in prison, and they're getting in prison even more now. And basically, if you're Russian, you agree with me on this. Russians who actually support the governments and, you know, support the special military operation, all this shit, whenever a person that 
that's in opposition, that has political views that are not agreeable to them, whenever those kinds of people get uh, sent to jail, unfairly sentenced, whatever, they celebrate. They're like, yes, fuck you, you fucking traitors, you goddamn sellouts to the West, whatever. Sweet, sweet justice. And they don't even realize that they're feeding a system that will one day eat them alive as well. You know what I mean? So Russians do that, right? And the thing is, in the wake of the recent conflicts between Russia and Ukraine, I've seen this take a lot online, a lot of people say this, and I don't agree with this on the deepest level. Basically, the take is that Russians are like some sort of fucking slave race or something that like doesn't have any inherent will to like freedom or something, and that basically always need a king to bow down to and that type shit, how Russians are basically like fucking cavemen, Mongols. That's what people say on Reddit and shit, bro, I'm not making this up. And people say that Russians basically shouldn't have a country because Russians are unfit to uh, be a democracy and shit like that. Which, first of all, not only sounds like some straight up Nazi shit when you say the entire nation of people are all retards, basically, but also you don't know the fucking lore, you don't know all the people who fought for Russia's freedom for ages, who are either being sent to jail or disappear mysteriously. You don't know about these people, you don't know about the struggle, you don't know about the protests that go down in Russia. So you're basically undermining these people's fight for freedom. But the point I'm trying to get to for this entire video is that it kind of seems like, you know, us Russians and Americans, like, we're not that different, I guess, you know? In Russia, you have people who celebrate when the person that they don't like goes to prison. And in America, you have people who supposedly love free speech, and they definitely are not like those fucking Tsar-loving Russians out here, you know, who can't build a democracy and shit. Americans, they're definitely not like that. They stand for the values of free speech and freedom, yet somehow they also celebrate when a person that they don't agree with gets sent to prison. Good job, guys. You fucking... <sighs> One of my most fundamental beliefs as a human being is that people generally are the fucking same. Every nation is the same and every nation has morons. And I have to go every day online and see that say that all Russians are somehow like worse people than Western Europeans, you know? And I really don't think that's the case, because when you actually look at, like, examples like these, you just realize that, like, yeah, man, I mean, people actually suck dick in general. People fucking suck, and they're morons, and the world is a shitty place. And what's funny is that at least a lot of the Russians, like, you know, Z Russians who celebrate when a person is sent to jail, they don't even try to pretend like they're for freedom and, you know, freedom of speech and, like, human rights or whatever. To them, that's just a bunch of fucking Western gobbledygook, you know? A bunch of bullshit Western values that we don't need. But these conservatives, no, they stand for freedom, liberty, you know, human rights and everything. Yet they celebrate when a person is locked up because they don't like her politics. And because she advocates for, uh, you know, uh, less police brutality for black people. I don't... <sighs> I have no idea what to say to you guys. I know people will get mad over this video, but this video will age well. Just like my video called Stop Idolizing Russia aged really well. Because I literally discussed this thing as well, how American conservatives get so far gone that they start like praising Russia, Belarus, authoritarian regimes. And they're not realizing at that point that they're not standing for liberty or free speech or whatever. And this, I think, is just another perfect example. And also, it is a perfect example of the fact that people just suck and every fucking nation has idiots and it annoys me to my core when my nation is being considered fucking subhumans out here when you go on fucking reddit whatever you see this shit i'm not even gonna look at it now because it's just gonna bring my fucking mental health to an even worse state than it already is but that take it is out there you know no good russians that type of shit no, I just feel like people suck. And this is evidence. Anyways, guys, yeah, I made my points. I guess this is gonna be pretty much it today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, if you guys agree with me, you know, whatever, smash like on this video. Also, if you want to support me additionally, go to the link down in the description, become a member of my channel. It's like an additional thing you can do. It's like YouTube's own Patreon. And yeah, guys, this is gonna be pretty much it for today's video. Stay sane and peace. Hold on guys, before we continue with this video, I would like to make an announcement. Basically, I just dropped this thing right here, this Gopnik plushie in collaboration with Makeshift. It is a plush toy that I designed myself, which is just beautiful. I mean, look at him, he has the outfit, he has the fake Adidas on, he has the beer bottle in his hand, he has the black eye, he has the hat, and he's all squishy and plushy. If you want to have this beautiful piece of Slavic merchandise in your apartment to protect it from, I don't know, angry people, then go over to the link down in the description and buy the Gopnik plushie from the Makeshift website. Not only do you get a sick toy but you also support your boy limited time offer by the way so go get him let us get back in the video i just